What's up YouTube? My name's Aja. Welcome to my channel. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you. Today I am bringing you the biggest, most badass wands of sage you have ever seen in your life. And that is because we are doing a smudging 101 video. But not only are we going to learn about smudging really fast, I'm going to show you so many different things that you can smudge with besides sage. From herbacenta to juniper to cedar, you can smudge with so many different things besides sage because not everybody likes the smell of sage. And there are just so many other properties and benefits that you're missing out on if you only use sage. So. This is gonna be a voiceover. Let's just roll right into the video. I just wanted to say hello and introduce this video. We are gonna be learning all about smudging from me, a real Native American, <laughs> because smudging is an ancient Native American practice to where you can either relinquish or eliminate, diminish, invite in, welcome in energies. It is just a way that you can use fire, air, smoke, and earth elements to work with energy. Now, let's get right into the video, but first, if you like my necklace, <laughs> or any of the jewelry that you see me wearing in this video, you will love Aja's Aura Boutique. Handmade jewelry with copper wire, gold-coated copper, tiger's eye, turquoise, pyrite, beautiful crystals, handmade jewelry at ajasaura.com. Follow me on all my socials at Aja's Aura and stay tuned because I should be open before the holidays, baby. Handcrafted jewelry, magical objects, cleansed, blessed, consecrated, and all that good stuff. Now, let's get into the smudging video and I'm going to show you so, 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 so many different ways that you can smudge without sage. <laughs> So the feather you usually get with your sage, does this look familiar? Yeah, it's a representation of the air element to direct the smoke, not just a cute little thing. <laughs> it directs smoke and energy towards or away from whatever you choose. Smudging is an ancient Native American practice for energy working, usually cleansing and protection. But smudging also connects you to your creator or God, spiritual communication and protection. It invites in blessings, purifies your body, mind, and soul. Sage is an ancient Native American plant used medicinally for centuries. This first bundle we have here is covered with lavender. Mixing sage with flowers is a great way to combine their energies and properties. This lavender sage here is great for meditation because it really welcomes in that calmness, eases stress, and welcomes in peace and tranquility. Great for crown chakra meditations, third eye opening, mindfulness, divination, intuition, psychic ability, girl, so much. <laughs> and if you wanna balance your chakras or do any type of chakra meditation, you need to grab this rainbow chakra sage. It really helps balance your aura and your energy centers. Burning flowers always welcomes in a beautiful, loving energy, especially this little one with rose petals. It is really glamorous and it has a sort of sunset vibes, so it gives me very warm energy. Great for beauty, relaxation, and consciousness. Burning flower petals and their stems and their leaves really welcomes in their benefits and it really welcomes in their properties. So what, literally like whatever flowers you choose, go ahead, throw it with your sage or burn it by itself. Next, they call this the Good Life Blend Floral Sage. <laughs> it is with Caspia and Clavelina. The caspia flowers are great for lucid dreaming, dream work, clairvoyance, and it connects with the sea and the ocean water element, so it must be a very feminine flower. The clavelina is great for insomnia and nightmares, psychic ability, healing, and peace. See my little label? Last flower sage we have is sunflowers. As you can probably guess, they are great to welcome in some sun energy. You know what that means, positivity, abundance, happiness, joy for positive results if you're trying to do some spell work 
or for just some overall good vibes. Yes, sunflowers. We stand. Now, look at this. Look at this shit I got from <laughs> Spirit of Halloween called Black Magic Sage. Girl, this Black Magic Sage from Spirit of Halloween is supposedly sage that is sandalwood infused. So some properties for sandalwood are Sandalwood is very ancient and welcomes in holiness, usually used a lot in Hindu practices, but you can use the essential oil or apparently burn this sage. Sandalwood brings in wishes and spirituality, great connection to other divine realms and universes for communication with your gods, sources, and angels. But not only are we using it for all that angel connection, you can also use it for exorcism. No wonder they sell it in the Halloween store, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna burn this for y'all and I'm gonna show y'all. Let's see how it burns with that exorcism girl. Mm. Now, lavender for real it's with stems, flowers, and leaves. Great for peace and positivity as a sleep aid and for psychic ability and clairvoyance. We all know lavender is great for stress relief and anxiety, really welcomes in good thoughts and prophetic dreams meditation and mindfulness great for your intuition and your consciousness so meditate with it for your crown chakra and your third eye chakra you can burn its leaves its petals the tiny little ones put them in an incense or your cauldron or the stems look at how beautiful they are and man it smells so good really stressful leaving Pine, grab your Christmas trees, hide your Christmas trees because we need some healing, protection, and driving out spirits. <laughs> Great for purifying your new home. So, ooh, maybe you move around Christmas time. Great for wealth and abundance, prosperity and steady money, okay? Financial stability, that sugar baby vibe. Then check out Herba Santa, it means sacred herb. Use it for divination and purifying. It removes negative spirits and it's good for dream work too. Protection, spiritual connection, communication, and healing. Burn this for those benefits. Blue Sage for that prosperity and money, baby. For abundance and wealth, it has that feminine cooling energy that is very good at improving your mood, cleansing, healing blue sage it smells different than white sage i think it smells better personally cedar one of my favorites it's really great for bringing in harmony purifying and for spirituality it brings in a lot of positivity and spiritual protection and it's great for cleansing new homes and new things if you want to welcome in abundance and prosperity or some extra money you can use it not only that but it's always been used medicinally and used in indigenous sweat lodge ceremonies helps you enter higher realms and consciousness then juniper so pretty isn't it and it really attracts positive vibes and wards negative vibes great for cleansing and guarding against evil spirits it removes them as well if you are on a spiritual awakening your spiritual path light some juniper it really welcomes in blessings and helps with your spirituality and it also aids you with positivity and good luck rosemary we all love rosemary and we use it for literally everything spell work and all it is great for powerful purification and banishing bad vibes protects you from negativity and negative spirits and of course you can use it for a spiritual cleansing Helps with psychic ability, clarity and clairvoyance, ancestor connection, and spiritual guidance from good spirits. I use it in so many potions, so many spells. I love rosemary. This is Copal. Now this lady did not send me no dead ass Copal. <laughs> Anyways, it is for sacred purification of energy and spaces, but mine is going to be returned because I know it's supposed to be green. <laughs> Use it for positivity, peace, balance, 
concentration and meditation and focus? Girl, yes. Mindfulness, spiritual guidance. Coppola's should be great if yours isn't, you know, dead and ugly like mine. Just kidding, it's still beautiful, look at it. At the color. But I want it to be green. Eucalyptus, you know that refreshing, cool scent <laughs> and the garland that I have in the back of my videos. Dried eucalyptus is great for smudging for abundance and prosperity, luck and wealth. And it's energizing because it's a stimulant and that cooling effect boosts your mood and raises the vibes in the room. Now this cute little braid of sweet grass was always used by the ancient Native Americans for medicinal purposes, but not that. Healing and rituals, positivity, and welcoming in good spirits. It's great today for ancestor connection, cleansing your aura, and as a sweet, sweet, sweet deity offering. Now mountain sage is western sagebrush, and it's also known as dream spirit sage. So you already know that dream work and astral projection, lucid dreaming, consciousness, get some mountain sage, girl. For wisdom and intuition, for third eye connection, girl, you will get all the downloads in your sleep with this. This royal sage is definitely the best smelling though, and it's actually used for aromatherapy. So it's great for meditation and mindfulness, for peace, a better sleep, stress relief, divination and welcoming in those good, good vibes. And that deep aromatherapy really invites calmness to your life, pleasure, it's a mood booster. Literally, just smelling it dry, I, burning it, girl, I can't imagine. I'm scared to burn it because it smells so damn good. And it's beautiful, look at it, ugh. Desert sage, looking dry as ever, will bring you some knowledge, wisdom, and spiritual guidance. If you are on your awakening journey, or you're on your spiritual path, looking for consciousness and clairvoyance, use this, great for cleansing. You can also use it for inner strength and addiction. It's like amethyst in a wand. Then, both of these sellers are calling this black sage, mugwort so i'm gonna give you mugwort properties but i don't know i'm giving them the side eye <laughs> so mugwort is great for psychic ability and clairvoyance divination and intuition you can use it to speak with your spirit guides or for traveling through universal realms y'all know mugwort is that that woo 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 stuff great for dream work and you can light it before you do any spell work or tarot readings it really nourishes your crown chakra and your third eye now a classic palo santo we've all lit some of this for purification and it's very energizing great for creativity and positivity happiness used also for aromatherapy just like the royal sage Use it for cleansing your objects, spaces, tools. It's just a cute little piece of wood and it smells divine. Like that ring? Now, this wildflower bundle. Great for grounding and earthly connection. It's literally just a bundle of flowers. <laughs> great for beauty and glamour and confidence. And it's so hard to burn that it's ridiculous. So, mm, it's cute though. Cinnamon sticks, some just basic ass kitchen magic. Great for quick energy drawing, positivity, wealth, and prosperity. Yes, these are just what you cook with, what you put in tea, just regular old cinnamon sticks straight from the kitchen. But I'm a light one for you. It would probably work better with a candle, you know, a really good flame. This match kind of sucked, but we are lighting it so I can show you, you just smudge around with it like any other one. It smokes and everything. Yum. Use this to really welcome in an inviting, wealthy energy.
Next in our kitchen is the bay leaf. Y'all already know you're gonna write prosperity or money or financial abundance on this and then burn it. That's a smudge. So we're gonna use this for money spells, wealth and financial stability. Y'all have seen me use bay leaves in multiple spells for money, prosperity, abundance, creativity, so many different things. And I'm just lighting it here for you guys and throw it in your cauldron and watch it burn. And now, last but not least, the most basic smudge you can possibly imagine. Burning just plain old wood with a match. Yes, set your intentions into this match. It's so easy. Literally set your intention, light it, use the air element to put it out, and so mode it be. Whatever you want, there it goes. Give it a cute little shot like everyone else got, and that's it. So thank you all so, so much for watching my smudging 101 video and tons of different ways that you can smudge without sage. I hope that you learned a whole bunch of new things that you can smudge with. There are different properties, and maybe you can switch it up if you don't like the smell of sage or if you just want to welcome in some new energies to your home. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with a friend, and stay tuned for the next one. Turn on those notifications, baby. Bye. Peace.